Hey Vsauce, Sejul here, and this is Object Detection with YOLO. What you just saw was artificial intelligence in action. Using an algorithm called YOLO, or you only look once, I was able to teach a computer to see. But what does giving computers vision mean for the future of humanity? Our vision allows us, humans, to perform everyday tasks ranging from reading books, watching videos like this one, and navigating the world that we live in. Our eyes are such an important tool to us that without it, we wouldn't be able to perform more than 90% of the tasks that you and I rely on every single day. For so long, we were the only ones who could do what we do. We're the only ones who can translate text into different languages, diagnose cancer from a medical image, and drive cars safely through the mayhem that is Toronto traffic. It's not like there's anything else that can do that for us, right? Wrong. We are no longer the only ones who can see. With recent breakthroughs in computer vision technology, artificial intelligence is already driving cars, diagnosing cancer better than top doctors, translating text from your camera, and taking over the world. But how exactly do we teach computers to see? To build a self-driving car, simply hooking up a computer with some cameras isn't enough because computers don't see images the same way that we do. Take a look. To us, we see elaborate shapes and edges that our big brains can piece together to make up a face. But to a computer, they see an array of many, many numbers. Not to mention, the picture of Abraham Lincoln is in black and white. Normal colored images are in RGB, red, green, and blue and have three separate color channels rather than one, meaning that images are not just a two-dimensional array of numbers, but a three-dimensional array. How does a computer recognize patterns in these numbers to see objects? Simply having a lot of conditional statements isn't going to cut it this time. This is where YOLO comes in. YOLO is a state-of-the-art object detection algorithm that uses a special type of neural network called the convolutional neural network. Neural networks are inspired by the way the human brain works, consisting of many layers of interconnected neurons that work together. After all, if our brains can learn to see, why can't an artificial brain do the same? YOLO uses a convolutional neural network because of its amazing ability to understand spatial information. The key behind YOLO's visual power is that it uses a special type of layer called a convolutional layer which extracts features from an image. You can think of the convolutional layers at the beginning of YOLO as eyes, scanning the image for relevant information and features. On the other hand, you can think of the dense layers of YOLO as the brain, taking in features and spatial information from the eyes, processing that, and then locating and classifying objects within the image. For each object that YOLO detects, YOLO confines it in an area called a bounding box and classifies what the object is. This is called object detection, and YOLO can perform it in real time, processing up to 155 frames per second, which is perfect for autonomous vehicles. When running on an image, YOLO first divides the image into an S by S grid. Within each grid cell, YOLO will predict the locations, sizes, and competence scores of the set number of bounding boxes essentially predicting the class and potential place where an object can be. Each bounty box consists of five predictions, an x-coordinate, a y-coordinate, width, height, and a confidence score. The calculated confidence score indicates how confident the model thinks that a class resides within the bounty box and how accurate the bounty box confines the given object, which it uses a metric called intersection over union. Intersection over union is used in object detection because it compares the ground truth bounding box with the predicted bounding box. By dividing the area of overlap with the area of the union, we have a function that rewards heavy overlapping and penalizes inaccurate bounding box predictions. The bounding box's goal is ultimately to confine the object within the image as accurately as possible, and intersection over union is a great metric for determining this. After an image is run through yellow, we end up with a lot of bounding boxes, most of which are irrelevant. To filter out the correct boxes, the bounding boxes with the predicted class that meets a certain confidence score will be kept. This allows us to isolate all relevant objects within the image. In essence, YOLO locates and classifies objects within an image or video, 
and this has huge implications. Object detection algorithms like YOLO can be combined with sensors on a self-driving car like LiDAR to create fully autonomous self-driving cars that can drive faster, safer, and better than humans ever can. If you want to try out YOLO for yourself, you can check out my article and download the code and weights, link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and liking the video. I aim to push out content similar to this every week. Um, comment down below what I should make next, and alright everyone, I'ma head out.